Hey everyone, so in this video we are going to make these uh, baby toys. They could be used in photography props or whatever. They're little weights like you're working out or whatever. Um, they only took me about 20 minutes to make so it's not bad at all. Um, if you guys have anything you would like to see me do in the crochet with me series just send a link below. It has to be a free crochet pattern. It can't be a paid pattern. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Hey everyone. So today we are going to be making these weighted baby toys. Well, they're not really weighted but it's like a weight set. And uh, it's from Stitch 11. I will post the links and everything down below. And what you'll need for this is a size G hook, a medium weight yarn, I use red heart, and yarn needles, some stuffing, and scissors. And like the other one, I'm not going to be teaching how to do the stitches, we're just going to uh, crochet or whatever. So. Okay, so for the first round, you make a magic circle, and I have never <laughs> properly learned how to make a magic circle, so I just chain, chain two, and then make my own circle, but you do it however you usually do. Um, Next, you chain one and then 11 half double crochet into the magic circle. Then when you get back to the beginning, slip stitch into the top beginning stitch and pull the ring closed. And that's your first row done. Sorry, hit the camera. Okay, round two, chain one, two half double crochet, crochet into each half double in the previous row and then join. I always crochet over my tails instead of going back in later and sewing them. It makes it faster. The grip on my hook is twisted or something. I don't know what's going on. It's weird. I think I'm going to have to get a new set of hooks as much as I use these. <laughs> To the beginning, slip stitch. And I just like row done. Third row, chain one, two half double crochet in the first, one into the next, and then repeat this all the way around. So two and then one, two and then one.
one keeps splitting. Today's just not my day or something. I don't know what's going on. calling them rows I'm sorry they're rounds <laughs> round four chain one single crochet into each stitch around hang on a second okay never mind I thought something the pattern was messed up but it was my fault okay Anyways, round four, single crochet into each stitch round. I usually always make my own patterns and write them and everything and when I try to read somebody else's I get confused really easily or I think it should be a certain way and it's not and a lot of times I have to go fix them myself so if, if you watch these regularly as I make them and you see me continue continuously like stopping and Trying to figure out what's going on. That's what's happening. Okay, there's row four. Round four. Round four. Sorry. Round five. Chain one. And single crochet into the back loop of each stitch around. So this one is going to be in the back loop only. Six chain one, half double crochet into each stitch around. If there is anything that you would like to see me do a video on the watch the uh, crochet with me series or whatever just send me a link it has to be a free pattern though not a paid pattern because th those aren't allowed to be shared I mean they can be shared but you can't you know share the pattern for free what's inside the pattern but 
it has to be a link to a free pattern. Okay, there's round six. Round seven, chain one, single crochet into each stitch around. Chain one in the back loops only for this round. Single crochet decrease and then single crochet into the next all the way around. So decrease and then single crochet. This yarn wants to fight with me today, and I'm going to fight it back. Okay, round nine, half double crochet decrease around the whole thing. So each stitch is a half double crochet decrease. Round 10, chain one and single crochet into each stitch around. says to finish off and weave in your ends with stuff with fiberfill or scrap yarn. It doesn't 
once they believe it's hell, so. You should, you should stuff it firmly to where, you know, it's not just flat, but don't over stuff it because then it will be popping through the holes. make the same exact thing again for the other end. So whenever you make these you're you're actually making a total of four of the ends. So back to round one you make a magic circle. Which I don't. Chain one and half double crochet 11 into the circle. center tight. Okay, round two, chain one, two, half double crochet into each stitch around. Sorry if you can hear the traffic outside. into the next.
so I skipped a stitch. Shame on me. Been doing this for almost 20 years now. <laughs> I'm just really tired. Okay. Round four. Chain one and single crochet into each stitch around. single crochet in the back loop of each stitch around. Sorry, I didn't know I was so far off the camera. six. Chain one, half double crochet into each stitch around. I really hate working with this gray because it just splits so friggin easily. I don't know why it does. There's a few other colors that Red Heart has that does as well. I, I just, I wish they would fix them because it's been going on for years and I hate having to stop and fix it where it's been split apart and it's just, just gets on my nerves. Usually I crochet way faster than this one, but I can't with this color. crochet to each stitch around. Back loops only, single crochet decrease, and then 
single crochet. Decrease. Round nine, chain one, half double crochet decrease around each stitch. For some reason on this, this round, there's always one extra left over. There was on the other one I did too. So when you get to that one, just I would just half double crochet into it. Okay, round 10, single crochet, or chain one, and then single crochet into each stitch round. Stop it. Trying to make sure it's evenly filled. Maybe it's a little more. There we go. Okay. The next part is to make the middle section. And it says start with a long tail. That way you can sew them together. So sew this to the end. Sorry, I can't talk today. I can never talk, but so start with a long tail. Ch 
chain 11. And then join to the first chain. tail through here because if not it's going to get in my way later. Sorry I keep hitting the camera. Okay. So that was round one. Okay, round two, chain one, and half double crochet into each chain around. Okay, now we're on three through eight, chain one and half double crochet into each stitch around. So, need to do this for eight total rounds. See this? This is what I'm talking about. Look at how bad that just split. This really gets on my nerves and a lot of their other yarns do not do this. Why does, does this color and like two other colors do it? I hate it. Well, I mean, the, technically they all could split, but not this easily.
So without, so she counted round one as just the chains, then you should have a total of seven rounds right here instead of like eight. So to finish off, make sure you leave a long tail to sew it in. And then stuff this little section here. something every day, huh? Okay. Now we have to sew them onto the ends. This just looks too tiny. Maybe it's supposed to look like that. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Okay, anyways. Go ahead and get out your yarn needle. Trying to make sure I get got I have the uh, inside of the little barbell circle and when I attach something I always like to go around it twice just in case.
sorry. Here's what it looks like when you get it finished. It's just a little dumbbell plate. It would be so cute for like newborn photo shoots or something, or just, just toys. So go ahead and make the other one the same exact way as you did this one, of course, and you will have your set. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have anything that you would like to see being made, like I said, it has to be a free pattern. Um, comment the link or whatever and I'll check it out. Or just ask and I'll see if I can find it myself. So I hope everyone has a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.